Let's take a look at how to use the convert uh, library in the book. So I got HTML, and then I got my um, header section title, and um, I'm assuming it'll convert from inches to feet. We'll see about that. Title in my header, start my body in my body in my HTML. Okay, so let's save this. Change the save as type to all, and then um, uh, the test test conversion. HTML. I'm going to right click on that, and I'll say open with Google Chrome. Not a very exciting web page. It's blank. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, click the tab here. And um, then I want to um, I want to go out to that web page. So I got HTTP, and then I got um, balance3e.com slash random.js. And I brought the wrong one up. What's, what's the other one called? Convert. Conversion. If this doesn't, I'll actually have to look to see what it's called. Conversion. Ah. Okay. Let me see. Convert.js. You need to load uh, in the head. Uh, type convert convert.js I'm just looking through now to see if it's already designed or if I had to write it myself Okay. I don't see a convert. So I guess we'll uh, write our something. Probably looking right at it, but I don't uh, don't see it. Okay. Well, it's um, let's write our convert. So uh, here I'm going to have my JavaScript. So I'm going to have script type equals text slash JavaScript. And then I'm going to have my source is equal to uh, convert.js. OK, so then I'll have, I'm switching from inches to feet. So I'll say inches is equal to input type equals text. ID equals um, inch. That are, um, yeah, that's probably enough. Then my line break, and then I'll have my uh, button. So input type equals um, button, value equals convert. Now I'm just going to do um, nothing too exciting on this when I, when I bring it back. I'm just going to put it into a text box, but you could use it in other calculations. So realize that. So, um, let's see. I guess I better go create my library first. Okay, so I'm going to have my function um, inch to feet. And I'll bring in a, a parameter of inches. And beginning curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And I'll have to declare a variable called feet, and I'll say feet is equal to inches times inches. Okay, bring in 24 inches, convert that to feet, we divide by 12. And then I return feet. 
Okay, so I'm going to save that. And I'll call this convert.js. Okay, so I'm bringing in convert. Remember what our library is called. It's called convert.js, which will match your source right here. Then our function, this is what we're going to be calling. So here in the input button, I can have on click equals, and then um, put my code here. So I'll have my um, variable inch. Let's say inches. I don't like to confuse that with the uh, ID of the input type. Then I'll say inches is equal to document dot get element by ID and inch. That inch there matches the ID of the text box. Closing parentheses dot and um, value. Now that's going to be a string at that point. And the way I got this designed is I, I want it to be a number. Now I don't know if it'll make a difference or not, but um, uh, I'm going to do a parse. Okay, I'm convert. I'm confusing this another language. Parse to float. Yeah, let me look it up real quick. Let's say I don't think it much matters, but. Um, parse float. Okay. Having good resources is probably more important than anything. Parse float. Okay, so I've run in that variable. I made sure it's a number. And then I'll call the function. So I'm going to say inch, two, feet, and then I'll pass in inches. Now that's going to return a value. So, right here, I'm going to set it equal to um, to feet. Feet is equal to inch to feet. And I'll declare the variable up here. Now, after I uh, return that to that variable called feet, I want to put it somewhere. So, I'll say document dot get element by ID. And... Um, Guess I haven't created where I'm gonna put it yet. I'll call it feet. Dot value is equal to feet. I might have to do some more uh, converting and so forth there. And then I want to quotes to end that um, end that code. Okay, so down here then I'm gonna have my input type equals text, ID equals feet. Now the feed I'm referring to here, this get document or get uh, element by ID, it refers to this feed down here. Okay, so let me save that and let's make sure this is saved. And refresh this. That's interesting. Test conversion. Actually, it helps to have a body. Do I have a closing body? Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, there's that beginning body there. Now, let me refresh it. Still doesn't like something. Uh, HTML head, uh, titles, close title, script. Um, I bring in the script, close the. Oh, I don't have a closing script. There. So I thought everything was a script, I guess. There it is. Okay, so 12 inches, click that, convert. 24 inches, click that, convert. Let's put uh, something in there that shouldn't come out nice. Yeah, I have to come up with decimals. So that's uh, an example of how you can use a uh, convert um, to convert it to uh, something else. Now, then the idea behind this is, is this is now stored. JavaScript is forgiving. See how I didn't have my closing uh, uh, semicolon there and it still worked? The idea is down here you can do other calculations with this. Feet is equal to feet times feet. 
so you could square square the feet. So if I come over here and click refresh, put in uh, 24 inches. That gives me two feet, but two two feet times two feet gives us four feet. Um, so don't think you're you're limited to once you bring this back, you have to immediately put it into a text box. You can do whatever calculation uh, on that that you want at that point. But that's an example of a conversion from inches to feet.